The American Bison or simply Bison, also known as the American Buffalo or simply Buffalo. Once this large herbivore roamed North America in vast herds, the Bison or Buffalo, whichever name you prefer, is just one of a few species of animals known as Megafauna. In North America, most people are familiar with the Woolly Mammoth, Sabertooth Tiger, and many have heard of the Giant Sloth and a Giant Armadillo-like mammal known as the Glyptodon. Most of those megafauna were here as recently as 10,000 years ago. North America still has a few megafauna such as the moose, elk, bison, and even the grizzly and polar bears. The American bison's historical range covered most of North America in what was known as the Great Bison Belt. Even after the advancement of humans into North America, bison still had a strong foothold in most of North America, with up to 60 million in the late 18th century. However, over the course of several decades, it nearly became extinct by a combination of commercial hunting and slaughter in the 19th century, combined with the introduction of bovine diseases from domestic cattle. The American bison species was down to just 541 animals in 1889, very close to the same number of people in the House of Representatives. A few decades prior to that all-time low diminished total population of just 541 bison, Idaho, a state which now contains zero bison, passed the first piece of legislation to protect the species. A species that was never prepared for the devastation created by humans. Potential goes both ways, positive and negative. Many people worked hard to preserve what remained of those precious bison, one of America's few remaining megafauna. Fortunately, laws and recovery efforts expanded in the mid 20th century allowing the bison population to increase to roughly 31,000 animals today. The once vast bison belt has been largely restricted to a few national parks and reserves. It's easy to see why we conservationists do what we do. Hit that like button if you would have liked to have been in North America just 100,000 years ago. Payton's Prairie was designated as a wildlife refuge and many animals are here. Um, they've reintroduced some large fauna like the American bison and this is one of the few places in the southeastern United States where you'll ever have the opportunity to see the American bison um, or the buffalo. Now the buffalo is a huge, huge mammal, um, much bigger than like a cow even. Um, they've also released, uh, here's what it looks like, they've also released wild horses and in fact are not native but they are naturalized so um, you know that's kind of cool that they did that you know unfortunately they're not a true native but it is what it is you know I mean you can't um, you can't hate that they're here I mean there's plenty of room out here for these uh, wild horses and bison all in one and uh, it's actually filling back up so it, what once was a prairie is actually kind of like a marshy habitat with lots of little pockets of water and big pockets of water and tons of alligators and snakes, all types of species of snakes. So I'm gonna go out here to the Paints Prairie State Park and we're gonna actually get a good look at what Paints Prairie can offer. And we're gonna take some amazing photographs. Right there I see an amazing bird. I can't tell what it is right now. You see it right there, what is that? I couldn't get a good look at it, but hey, I'm gonna get my, uh, my new cam Canon EOS Rebel out and we're going to take some amazing photographs so we'll see y'all soon. Park here and you walk up. Alright, so what is the entrance fee here? $2 per vehicle. That's not bad. We'll do that. You can kind of tell the water is out that way. That's where the prairie was. And the trail uh, forks right here. So let's see. First amphibian so far. I was hoping to catch some salamanders, but it's a really unique looking frog. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's pretty small though. It almost looks like a leopard frog. Okay, about to have to strap the crocs in four-wheel drive here apparently. Holy cow. Yep, they're going on four-wheel drive. Did not expect to get this money. Why does this grass and weedy stuff look so much like Jurassic Park? There's another little frog. 
See him right there. But even more interestingly, that is a big old pile of poop. And that is not from a deer. That's gotta be a bison. Okay, it looks like there's a track over here too. Holy cow, yeah, that's not a deer. Look at the tracks. That animal had some weight to it. I don't know this is gonna take me anywhere. Hurricanes brought rain on a scale that hadn't been seen in decades, flooding the prairie and killing thousands of trees along the banks, suffocating many trees' root systems and providing perfect habitat for another species, the pileated woodpecker. Okay, this thick grass right here is a really interesting area and I just spotted some more uh, dung from one of those large megafauna. And this grass right here has all been freshly eaten as well as huge, I mean massive tracks. These are bison tracks, y'all, there's no doubt in my mind. So I just left the ranger station and uh, at six dollars their machine was down so i actually got free admission that's funny um they had a report of about nine bison out here about five hours ago um out by the observation tower she said to go there typically you can see better and get an idea of where they're at and she hasn't had reports of any wild horses but hopefully we'll come across something out here it'd be really exciting to see a bison i mean i've just never seen one in person and if i could see one that'd be amazing so we're gonna go out it's three miles down this road and then we'll be out there to the observation tower and i'll let y'all know what i see so we're at the alachua trail looks like this is where you would park great florida birding trail look at that all right y'all i'm way too excited last person I asked said there was two dozen of them out here, a uh, bison. So I'm walking fast paced to the observation tower. So I've never been here, so this is all new to me. There's the observation tower over there. You can see it through the woods. Here it is. Coming up on the observation tower. In 1975, 10 Oklahoma bison were introduced to the Paynes Prairie State Park, helping to restore what once represented the southernmost point in the Great Bison Belt. There are estimated to be between 50 and 70 bison here at the park today. So we spotted all the bison. They're kind of far to get a really good close up like I really want. And I heard rumors of the horses being right here, but the rumors were they were at the bend right there so obviously either they moved quick or they moved out into that stuff or they moved this way so we're gonna give a shot and see if we can find them hopefully we'll be able to get one uh photograph a couple of horses right there y'all i see a deer you may or may not see it right there we gotta get this on camera the deer are right over there look at them they're just chilling Two white tails. All right, so apparently the horses left us, but we did get a chance to see those beautiful deer. And rumor has it, I keep walking, I'm gonna get to photo shoot something I really wanted to photo shoot this year, Sandhill Cranes. And there's a whole flock of them up here. Apparently, the guy said there was millions of them, probably just a couple dozen or maybe a hundred, but. This is gonna be the photo shoot I've been looking for, so let's do this. Okay, I spotted them. They're out there in the water. So those things have a very pronounced call. Um, they're pretty far. They're out there. I'm trying to get out there too. I might be going to the wrong direction. I'm gonna to try to cross this little creek. This is bison territory. We get up here on these. I heard something. Many migratory bird species, as well as year-round residents, find their home here at Paynes Perry State Park. Sandhill cranes come in huge flocks every winter, and some sandhill cranes spend their whole year here. We have been walking for like three miles, and we didn't see any horses. 
time's running out the day's over and then the horses come I didn't have to move the whole time because the horses were there it's not the greatest shot but I done lost them there they are cracker horses true descendants of the original Spanish horses that once roamed the prairie there are between 30 to 50 horses on the prairie today. It's dark, we only got 13 minutes to get all the way back to the car and I have like, I don't know, at least a mile walk left. I walk a 13 minute mile in a day. That was super exciting. I never thought I was gonna get to see all of the megafauna or large mammals that live on the prairie that they reintroduced, but we did it. We saw the bison from the observation tower and we saw the wild horses on the way back. We thought we lost it as well as seeing all those beautiful deer and all that stuff so if you like this video be sure you subscribe to this channel and we'll see you next time right here in the great outdoors We have four minutes to closing. I thought I was gonna be the last person here for sure. Apparently, there's two more people, possibly even crazier than I am. I might be in trouble. The park closes at 6 o'clock at 6.03. Nobody here to say anything. Oh well. Apparently I'm not the last person here because there's two people and the gates were actually closed and they opened automatically, thank goodness, because Obviously, I'm trying to get out of here. We did it all. We sensed it all. The gate just tried to close on my truck. See it closing behind me? We're closing the park, y'all. Park's closed. <laughs>